everyone welcome back to my channel so today I will be sharing my thoughts and opinions in regards to the Opry's Art Inks collection number one honestly you have endless possibilities with the art inks like there's so many things you can do with them and it's really up to you and the look that you're going for with these so if you'd like to see how I did this stay tuned <music> So I don't know if you guys remember in one of my creative beauty hauls I shared the Opry Art Inks collection number one so in the collection there's six of these amazing bottles and they're basically used to like do like a marble nail art or just you know to give it like an artistic background or addition to your nail art or whatever you may be doing so I'm not gonna swatch these per se how I usually swatch them and and I'll be using the blending fluid that was included with the kit and just, you know, play around with them and let you guys see how they work. So this one is the black. going in with a rhyme or reason I'm just going in and playing around so now I'm gonna try to go in with some of the blending fluid The fun thing with the art inks is that you can go in and use the blending food like if you think you took too much and you can kind of just create your own design like there's no right or wrong way it's just what you're looking for. <laughs> So this is the black and I like that like smoky effect that it gives. Like how much fun is this? This is so much fun. I actually did use the red one in my Christmas nail art compilation. So I'll have that linked in the cards for you as well. And again like if I wanted like a harsher line I could just run it back through, darken it up a bit and then I could go back in with my blending fluid and just take away or add. So this one is number two, which is the brown. Next we have the orange. So as you can tell the formula on these are really runny, which is the intended purpose. Which is why I also said I wasn't going to swatch them. How I usually do swatches for you guys. interesting how when I put on the orange parts of it come out yellow and then you can really see the true orangey nature of the color look at how fun this is guys like and again like obviously it is a learning curve and you can play around with it until you get the design that you're looking for like there's no right or wrong way of using the Opre art inks so this is number four and number four is the red. I actually spilt some of it during my nail art compilation. I was so upset. So one thing guys, make sure you close these back because again, the formula is so like runny that when it spills, it literally spills and it got like it seeped into my backdrop that I use. I don't even know if I still have it to show you guys, but yeah. <laughs> 
this is what happens when I leave my room to do something and my daughter gets a hold of stuff. She tries to do things. So I'm just going to go back in with this same one that she was using the red with. I just love how pigmented the red is. Up next we have number 5 which is the pink. Ooh, this one is very vibrant. Keep in mind you don't have to only use the operate artings over white. You can actually use them over like any color really it's all depending on the look that you're going for and it's best to use them over like after you've applied your matte top coat because they just adhere better I got a bit carried away with this one <laughs> so even though it's pink in certain areas after it dies down it shows up a bit purpley so this is a really fun one that you can use too it seems like if you go in to darken the color a bit when you use the art ink it is gonna come up a bit more purple but this is so much fun guys and the last color I have to share with you is a purple this is like really murky in the bottle so I did shake it, so I don't know. Let's see. Okay, like what I'm seeing on the outside is not what is showing up here at all. That's so weird. Ooh, this one is really light. See, it dies down purple, but then when I use the art ink, it looks like it has like a pinky undertone to it almost. Which is pretty neat because then it gives it like a bit more dimension. I really like this one too. It's interesting. It's like it dies down to the true purple color. Like, look at how fun this is, guys. Again, as I said, it's up to you, the look you're going for, the vision you have in your mind, but honestly, the possibilities are endless. Like, I basically winged all of these. I didn't know what I was doing. I just kind of put them down and said, okay, let's see how it spreads and take it from there take away from what i don't want add to where i want more right but you guys know this one's my favorite like hands down it's purple you guys should know me by now and here we have it for the art praise art inks collection number one review so this video was short and sweet guys because there's only six pieces in this collection and these were kind of easier to share with you guys especially since like part way through i realized they weren't gonna show up the way i wanted them to over black so it's just best to show them over the white so let me know what your thoughts are what do you guys think about the art inks have you seen something like this before i know many companies have something similar to the opera art inks so you don't necessarily have to get 
the Arpre Artings. I personally just really like these ones, although I do want to try some from other brands. So ones that I know of, I will list them down below along with this collection as well. So let me know which one is your favorite. I really, really love the red, the pink, and the purple. Black obviously is a staple. I want to get a white one because then you can have black and white. And you know what? Surprisingly, I don't mind the orange and the brown. Like, they look really, really nice. Like, I can see these three going very nicely together. This orange would be great for Halloween. Of course, you can pair black in any of these colors. So, you don't necessarily just have to use the one color alone. You can actually mix and match the colors. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and tuning in with me. As always, please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you know anyone that might be interested in this video, go on ahead and give it a share as well. Until next time, stay glamorous.